the ring being talked to right now by Slayton and company has never lifted a weight in his life, Angelo. The body on Ken Norton is natural. He just has a super, super phys physique to work in the ring with. He's 218 pounds, and we were talking, he, he might go 235 uh, if he wasn't in, in the trim he's in right now. Norton coming out. I noticed Norton that time stared across at Garcia. Ooh, a right hand by Garcia. Right, right hand by Garcia. Staggered Kenny Norton. Missed with the left. The right hand, though, definitely landed by Garcia. Kenny Norton now going to work, trying to get those hands down. Jose Garcia. Smart move. Missed the right hand. learned a lot, Angelo. Oh, he's finding a real cagey, smart fight. Outside that knockdown, that last one, that was really nipping tough. Norton on the left now with a combination. That's Garcia in a little bit of trouble on the ropes right now. Norton very strong. Can go the distance if he has to. Uh, uh, Ali knows that. Your fighter, right? Norton very strong. See a very quick puncher. Garcia is right in his own corner, comes out with the right hand. Two haven't stopped. Right hand by Garcia underneath. Remarkable the shots that Kenny Norton's catching, and he's taking them well. Uh, this kid Garcia can really punch really. And that first right hand he landed, I thought was pay dirt. Ooh, combination. Big left hook. Garcia, Jose Garcia is down. Coming off a right hand. Kenny Norton really struck a left hook high on the head. Second knockdown. 4 of 12. Garcia back to work, and here's Norton lining it up. Well, there's some hook that Kenny Norton yeah, laid so on that Those body time. shots really took their toll on Garcia, but he's Left dangerous right. even when he's like in the position that he's in. There he goes. Ooh, good right hand by Garcia. Left by Norton. Ooh, right hand up the cut. Norton is putting it on him. Garcia is in trouble. Has to move. Comes out swinging. Norton won't let him off. Right above us now. Norton with a left. Yes, yes. This is the uppercut. Kenny Norton keeping the pressure up. Ten seconds to go. 25 KOs by Kenny Norton from San Diego. Another left hook to the a body. Left to the body. Great left hook to the body. Garcia back with a right hand at the bell. Now fighting at the bell. In the ground floor. Uh, now, the best shot that Norton's nailed in this kid is a oh, left hook to the body. Okay, round number five, and Kenny Norton might be awkward, but he can work, and he's been working head-to-head -head with Garcia. Had him down twice. We're in the fifth. I think Kenny's looking for another big shot downstairs. Backing him right above us now. Garcia's back's to us, and he's covering up now. There's no pretense now. A right hand by Garcia. A left and right, maybe blocked. Combination. Ooh. Norton working inside, covering up. Ooh. Right hand of the kids. Get the. Oh. He's been going to the low blow, remember. Jose Garcia on the deck for the third time. The neutral corner right above us is Kenny Norton. like it is going to be over. Kenny Norton. Kenny Norton wins it. He wins his 33rd fight. A KO in the fifth round. Angelo with the big left again, huh? Well, they're claiming a low blow in the corner. Claiming a hit a low blow. Time. Referee's calling it a knockout. One minute, 50 seconds. On the fifth round. The winner.
was trying to do. I'd forget every now and then he could carry it away. But uh, he had a lot of fat around his body, so I figured he couldn't take a good body punch. Danny, it surprised me that he did come out and hit you with some good shots, and we know he's a big puncher, and you, you walked right back in there and got head-to-head -head and went to work again. That's because of the fact that I'm, I think I'm a better fighter today than I was five years ago. I think I proved it by the way I was countering punches, the way I was going under his punches, and by my effectability, effectability and uh, he, he wouldn't ever do anything. Nothing at all. Concentration. You've got it, though. You did what you had to do, and you went out there, as you said, to punish him and get those hands down and do the job on him, huh? Uh, I hope so, yes. And uh, as I said before, God willing, I'd have a good night tonight. He was willing, so I had a very good night. You know that Don King was in, of course, and he's talking about after perhaps the affair in Manila uh, the first week in October. He's talking about you next spring, perhaps, against the man that comes out of there. You wouldn't mind something like that on a global nature, would you? No. I, I can stand it financially. I think I, plus, I think I can beat Ali. I really do. Well, you've already done that once. The thing I mean, that... I've done it twice. Yeah, that's right. Okay. The second fight, 17 out of 19 judges thought I won the fight. So I think that probably proves right. that I won the fight. Now, you got back for the one that you lost. Let's talk about that fight. I had a feeling that maybe you were hit late in that first loss in Los Angeles to Garcia. Were you actually uh, a loser in regulation time or play, as we say? Well, as I said before, I have no excuses for losing. There is no excuse for losing. Right. But uh, after viewing the films... I was stuck after the bell, but that's no excuse. I should have been prepared and should have defended myself at all times, like they say, before the fight. So there's no hard feelings. I just wanted to punish man for beating me the first time, and I think I've done it. And now I have uh, beat Ali and Foreman, and I'm happy. Kenny Norton, you've got, your, you've got your head together in good shape. You really know where you're going as a person, don't you? Not only when you're in this ring. You seem to seem to know what's coming on next for you. Don't you? Uh, I, seem to th I want to think that I do. I mean, you can't always be sure or be certain, but you can always have a, a vague idea. If you kind of steer off course, I have good backers in Bob Bine and Art Rifkin and my father, John Norton, and uh, Arthur Ellen and everybody, Bill Slayton. They kind of, you know, see, they kind of see that I keep going straight. I don't veer off the course too much. And uh, I had one of the fellow, Phil Torrance, was very helpful. All right, now, do you feel like that you sort of speak for a lot of people in Southern California? Uh, are you like the Silky Sullivan that came roaring east as a thoroughbred? Are you the guy that speaks for Southern California or, or the whole western part of this country? Do you feel that way? I don't know. I'd say I'd rather speak for myself and the people I'm surrounded with and the people who uh, believe in me as a fighter. But you're very happy now, aren't you? Yes, I'm very late, yes. Yeah. You've got the one out of the way. You've only lost three times. That's an amazing thing. There's one game. down, I, and I have to get Foreman, and I have to get Ali, and I'm happy. You know, from your old football days, I think you made the right decision. You <laughs> went the right way. Thank you very Kenny much. Kenny Norton, congratulations. Thank CBS you. loved it. It was a super fight. Hopefully so. Thank you. Okay. okay. One sign of health in the... Tom Ray, and you've said on numerous occasions... That's